shaking. Shmiti year, beginning on Rosh Hashanah, with the blowing of the Yom Torah, the trumpets, to declare not only the beginning of the new civil year, but a Shemitah year and the 49th year before the year of Jubilee. Rosh Hashanah. Rosh is from an unused root, apparently means to shake. The head is most easily shaken. But it also means the head of the year, Rosh Hashanah. And it's literally or figuratively used in many applications, being captain, chapter, chief, company, excellent first four month. So the head of the year is shaking. In this year, I heard in Jeremiah 111, I see a rod, an almond tree, shaked, for I will hasten, shaked, my word, to perform it. The word is used as an emblem of promptitude. I will hasten my word to bring it to pass. I will shake everything that can be shaken. And the rod in the almond tree, the rod of an almond tree, this is the priestly anointing. The blossomed rod was in the Ark of the Covenant. It was Malki. It means to germinate a shoot that is a stick which one leaves on. Leaves on. For walking, striking, guiding, dividing. Shaked, the almond tree or nut, as being the earliest in bloom. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me. Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Jeremiah 111. And then said he, the Lord, unto me, you have seen well. I will hasten my word to perform it, I will shake and remove everything that stands in the way of the word of the Lord, the Lord was saying. I will shake. Here in this scripture, the word where Jeremiah says, uh, where the Lord says to Jeremiah, what do you see? It's ra'ah, which is the root word for seeing or a seer. Are you watching? Are you paying attention? Look at this. Behold, consider, discern, gaze upon, and so on, to perceive, to be near. Are you watching? Are you listening? Are you watching? And then he says, what do you see? <clears throat> and Jeremiah says, also, Let's look in detail at another word here in this passage, Jeremiah 1. What is it? Jeremiah 1, 11. Oh, okay. The word shakad is seen in to, uh, right here it says, I will... Then, verse 12, said the Lord to me, you have seen well, seen well, for I will hasten my word to perform it, to shakad. That is, I will be on the lookout, whether for good or ill, to hasten it, to remain for it, to watch. It is the watchman's call. And what is it? His word. Dabar is the Hebrew and the matter of the thing, it implies the book of business, a case, as in a judicial case, to counsel, to decree, to cause it to come to pass, to bring judgment, especially in a, an issue of judgment, and to bring past the sentencing, the purpose of that. I will watch over it. And then... To per saw, that is, in the end of 12, to perform it, it saw. It's, it, it really means to accomplish, to advance it, to appoint it, to bring it forth, to bruise, to have charge, to commit, to execute. It is the judgment, he's going to watch over it, to perform it. 
Jeremiah 1 11. I see the rod of an almond tree shaking, shaked, for I will hasten, shaked. And what is this? The almond tree is the earliest in bloom. It is the winter tree. And it brings forth the first sprout. I will hasten my word to perform it. I will hasten my word to perform it. Let's look at this again. Just to review, more of the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. And he said, the Lord spoke to me, you have seen well, for I will hasten my word to perform it. God is now hastening his word to perform it. And what may that word be? Haggai 2.4. Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and be strong, O Yahshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and be strong, all you people of the land, says the Lord, and work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts, according to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt. So my spirit remains, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea, and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of the nations shall come. Who's that? The coming of the Messiah, the coming of the Lord God Almighty, Yeshua HaMashiach. I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill the house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than of the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace. The word to shake in Haggai here in this passage is a little bit different than the others. But that's the beauty of Hebrew and Greek. They have subtleties. And the, the other beauty is that the Hebrew was a picture language. It was hieroglyphic, even the ancient Hebrew. Ra'ash means undulate, the primitive uh, root, as the earth, the sky, a field of grain, particularly a field of grain. Through fear, to spring, make afraid, to remove, to quake, to shake, to tremble. I will shake. God is doing these shakings. God is bringing these things to pass. It is his hand that is shaking all things, that his glory will come and fill the earth and fill his house because he will remove those things that are temporal and the sinful. And how has he removed them? By his blood. He has already, on Yom Kippur, taken his blood and reconciled all things back to him that can be reconciled. We will look at that in the next part.